Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to my first Minecraft video in the 1.8.2 update. Yes, the update is finally here for the Xbox edition of Minecraft. I feel like I've been waiting for it for absolutely ever, uh, but it's finally here, and in this video, I'm going to go through all of the noteworthy additions and changes to the game uh, that have been added in this big update. And there's quite a lot to go through, and there's a lot of exciting stuff, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to start off in a menu and go through some of the options that are in the menu when creating a world. Uh, but it's some interesting stuff, so don't just skip ahead of this stuff. Uh, the big thing of course is creative mode is now in the game. Now when you load up a world you can choose whether you want it to be in survival or creative mode. Uh, you can also set it so the world will be super flat which means that the world will be flat near bedrock and that will affect both the overworld and the nether. You can also disable clouds if you don't want any clouds in the sky. You also have the ability to rename an existing world. So say if you made a world called Poo Poo World and you thought that was a stupid name because it is, uh, you can now change it to something awesome like maybe Stampy's Lovely World or something like that if that's what you want to do. Uh, there's now more more host options you can toggle it so that uh, players can't kill each other in the game you can also set it so that when someone joins uh, you don't immediately trust them so you basically stop people from griefing by like mining or building without permission like fire won't spread and uh, when TNT explodes it won't destroy the blocks around it and there's also certain host, pr uh, host privileges that you can change uh, which you can affect actually in game like on the fly uh, you can also change it so that gamer tags are not displayed on the screen or on maps which will be good for things like survival games or even machine cinema. Uh, you can also store uh, like all of your settings and stuff in your player profile so you can store like uh, your invite only and friends of friends in your player profile uh, so you don't have to always have people as a friend when you want to invite them into the game. Uh, there's also an update for the download content menu uh, so you can see pictures of the DLC available and they've also added in-game player options for the host so you can do things like set whether you can build or mine, you can be like a moderator basically so you can choose uh, whether you want to kick people, like who can fly, you can like uh, disable exhaustion and you can make it so you can turn invisible and just sort of uh, extra settings like that that you can do actually in game and I'm now actually going to load up a game and I'm going to show you uh, some of the changes that they've added in game. Okay well I've now loaded up a world, um, I've done a little bit of editing in creative mode and I've built myself a uh, nice little house in here, little uh, Stampy's temporary home and I think there's an enderman outside, I saw a little bit of a purple glow out there, I'm just going to have a quick look just to see if I can catch an enderman because I've not actually uh, seen one yet and it looks like um, it's either like burnt to death or buggered off and uh, we just got a load of creepers here instead but oh well um, I'm now under oh no, there's an enderman there we go there's my first glimpse of an enderman in Minecraft while not watching a video uh, they're generally uh, pretty neutral um, but if you actually look at them in like the face or like the torso they can get a bit aggressive and they also have a tendency of stealing blocks and oh my god there's a creeper Ang turn around Ang turn around don't blow up my house please don't blow up my house oh my god I just made that house uh, you can also notice there the uh the improved explosive animation and the um, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the the change in the sound effect there. And there's quite a lot of changes uh, that have been added to the main game. And I'm going to try and go through um, all of them, or at least all of the uh, noteworthy ones here. Um, one of the first things you might add is that they've changed some of the uh, terrain generation features. Uh, you can now have strongholds that will spawn naturally. Also villages, like the village that uh, I'm in here. Also abandoned mine shafts and ravines. And there's also a ravine uh, quite close that I'll show you later on. Uh, so this was a natural spawned village um, I kind of edited this place a little bit to make it uh, my home but uh, apart from that this was all a uh, naturally spawned village and oh yeah Anx here by the way I never properly mentioned that so this is my house here um, there's also some changes to do with the, some of the stuff like in the scenery nice um, jukebox playing there uh, the clouds are now like right up at the limit and they also move uh, like in sync with like the time in the game. Uh, also the sunrise and sunset look just uh, like a lot prettier now. And also when moving up, uh, when it's snowing and raining, it's supposed to look better. Although I can't actually notice uh, any uh, significant difference in that. Also you notice that the HUD has changed. You'll realise that I now um, have a hunger bar. You can see that just to the right of my health bar there's a hunger bar. And I could actually eat to regain my health as you can see Ank doing there as well. And of course there is now a uh, eating animation uh, that's been added to the game so instead of your food just disappearing uh, you will actually uh, properly eat the food uh, you can now also sprint oh thanks thanks Thank oh it looks like Anx brought some some raw meat for me thanks very much yeah you can now sprint and you can see that in the top left hand corner of the screen uh, there's a little icon which shows when your player is sprinting uh, also when in creative mode when flying that sort of same icon appears uh, to show that you're flying and the way that you sprint is you just double tap forward on the left analog stick so I double tap and then I start to sprint and this is going to be a good time to sprint uh, as soon as there's a creeper right there 
And there's also a few changes uh, with some of the mobs, which I might talk about uh, while there's one here. You can notice that with the pigs, their snout uh, now pokes out from their heads a little bit more. And the pig, they're totally oblivious uh, to what's going on behind him. Also, if you now punch a mob, uh, they will actually try and run away from you. Uh, so you see that I hit that pig, and instead of just sort of passively wandering around, uh, it does try and sort of run away from me to stop... Uh, it becoming pork chops. Uh, there's also some changes to some of the other mobs. Uh, skeletons now have proper sized bows rather than sort of tiny bows. Uh, zombies now drop rotten flesh uh, rather than dropping the pretty useless uh, feathers. And there's also some changes to some of the sounds that the mobs make. Um, I haven't actually heard many of them myself. And there's some new mobs. Uh, you've already seen that Enderman. Uh, there's also cave spiders and silverfish, which um, we will hopefully see uh, a little bit later on uh, when I destroy some uh, silverfish stone. Uh, there's also a few differences to do with the menus and stuff here you can see that now if I press the back button um, I can actually see what color my icon will be on the map I can go into hope, uh, host options and I can change whether TNT will explode and whether fire will spread. Um, I'm going to leave them activated because uh, leaving them activated uh, normally makes things uh, slightly more fun. Um, they've also changed some of the mining speed. So when you actually destroy blocks and uh, mine stuff, there's actually uh, a change to that. They've actually brought that forward. Um, it was supposed to be in a later update, the 1.23 update on the PC version. Uh, but they've brought that forward now. So I think actually... Uh, you mine some of the items uh, slightly quicker, uh, which is uh, uh, definitely a good thing. Um, as I said, they've also improved the edges on the raining and stuff. Um, they've also made it so that if I go to exit a game and I go to exit without saving, it will come up with an extra little warning like, are you sure you want to do that? Uh, just to save those annoying moments where you may accidentally uh, exit a game uh, without saving. And also, uh, when the autosave comes up... Um, it won't just sort of just suddenly save when you're halfway through doing something. There's like a little countdown timer uh, which will come up on screen basically saying we're about to save the game now uh, just so it isn't like such a sudden shock. And also some of the how-to options because there's uh, so many new stuff added. If you go to how-to you can sort of uh, find out extra information about creative mode and like sprinting and uh, some of the other new additions to the games. Uh, there's also been some fixes with like some of the bugs and just problems with the game. Uh, the, duplica uh, the duplication glitch uh, no longer works. You can't do it, uh, which shouldn't be too big of a problem for anyone uh, because um, there's creative mode now, so there's no uh, real need for it anyway. Also on split screen, it's slightly improved so that uh, the aspect ratio for some of the things that you're holding in your hand uh, are the right aspect ratio and not uh, slightly skewed. Uh, there's also a fix for uh, if you leave a game and you join uh, someone else's game again. Uh, sometimes you'll lose all of your items. Uh, that's now fixed, so that shouldn't happen anymore. Uh, also a fix with redstone so the tiles don't burn out when they shouldn't. And also a fix where uh, the minecart uh, with the furnace in it uh, wasn't able to move other minecarts. It now can do that. And they've also fixed the particle code uh, for the flipped third person view. Sometimes when you're in this view, some stuff didn't load in, like fire and stuff didn't look right. Uh, they've now sorted that out. And there's also a whole bunch of new items and features that have been added. And I've kind of built a little area down here so I can go through uh, and demonstrate all of this stuff. Uh, there's now melon blocks which have been added to the game. Uh, this is what melons look like. Obviously, uh, they are uh, still a block like any other item. And you destroy them, you get loads of pieces of melon. And you can uh, get those pieces of melon and make them into melon seeds. Uh, which can be planted like pretty much anything else that you plant. Uh, if I just get my diamond hoe down here and I'll give you like, a demonstration. I'm not actually sure if you do need to uh, cultivate the land. I know you don't need to cultivate the land uh, around the area and you used to actually have to do that in the PC version but they brought that forward as well. Uh, there's also now pumpkin seeds which you can see in here and they can be planted in just the same way. That's sort of uh, how they grow there. Also a bunch of other different types of food. Uh, apples are now in the game and they drop from trees and so if I come over here and I'm just going to get this diamond axe and if I actually go and cut down some of these trees uh, when the leaf blocks uh, deteriorate uh, some of them should drop apples also you can just destroy the leaf box and uh, you sometimes get apples they're pretty rare you don't always get them but um, that is the only way to uh, legitimately get apples in the game so hopefully uh, we get some apples dropping also leaf blocks you can now place leaf blocks down and they won't actually get uh, destroyed they won't deteriorate uh, no matter if they're near wood or not normally you used to have to have like a wood block close for them to not get destroyed and uh, now you can just uh, break them with your shears like you normally would and I can place these like no matter where they are and they will just stay there forever uh, but normal leaf blocks like ones up here uh, won't and as you can see here I've got a nice little apple which has dropped down and I'm actually going to eat that because uh, I'm getting quite low on uh, hunger 
Uh, the way the hunger bar works with the health bar, if you got uh, a hunger bar but low health, uh, your hunger bar will deteriorate faster, uh, but your health will go up. And if you have no hunger left, you won't actually die. Uh, you'll just lose your hearts. And there's also a bunch of other food here. Um, there's the golden apple, which was already in the game, uh, but I think it's easier to get now than it was. Um, it was extremely rare before. As I've said before, melon slices, uh, rotten flesh, which is dropped by zombies, uh, cooked chicken and raw chicken, which you obviously get by killing uh, chickens, and also beef and uh, steak, which you get uh, from cooking and killing cows. Uh, also, another little extra thing you can do, which might uh, make things handier, is that you can make mushrooms mushroom stew uh, mushroom stew sorry without a crafting table so i can then make some uh, nice mushroom stew which i can eat in a minute and i don't need a crafting table uh, in order to do that and you can also stack more food items so you can see that i've here got a 64 stack of apples and uh, i originally wasn't able to stack many food items and now i can do that Okay, moving on, uh, you can see that we here have a glass plane, which is kind of like uh, a very thin, almost 2D piece of glass, uh, which you can place like as windows and stuff. It just looks a little bit nicer uh, than a full glass block. Uh, there's also here a fence gate, which Ank is demonstrating nicely, uh, which is uh, a great thing that you can sort of add to fences. And it's great for farms just to sort of uh, keep mobs out of like your area, as Ank seems to have just lagged out of the game. Uh, there's also some stuff which you can do here now with stone bricks, uh, which you need uh, smooth stone to make. And there's some uh, stone steps there, just some stone bricks and uh, some different variations, some with moss, some a bit crapped and also uh, stone half slabs. And there's also here silverfish stone, which looks identical uh, to normal stone and cobblestone. Uh, but actually when you destroy them, um, I believe silverfish actually uh, spawn and come out of them. Yeah, there you go. See, that's what a silverfish looks like. And they are actually uh, an, an aggressive mob. They will try and kill you, uh, despite the fact that they look really cute. And um, you generally get them in strongholds and stuff. I don't think you find them, like, uh, ever, like, just naturally spawned around the world. And so if you're doing some sort of adventure map or some sort of puzzle map, and you want sort of a mob to spawn when you destroy something, uh, you can put in there some uh, silverfish stone. And I'm just going to... Uh, destroy that one there to show you that it does it with both and I'm going to get out a sword even though it's a rubbish gold sword uh, to hopefully kill this silverfish uh, slightly quicker also just something else that you can craft you can now make uh, brick steps and brick half slabs just sort of uh, something else that you can build with materials that are already in the game and there's also iron bars added to the game just sort of another aesthetic thing you can't walk through them and they're kind of uh, slightly 2d again like the glass plane uh, the glass uh, pane sorry uh, there's also vines which have been added to the game and they actually uh, spawn in the like jungle biomes and that's something i didn't actually mention there are uh, some more biomes that are added to the game for generation and you can there uh, get a nice glimpse of where uh, the sun uh, set as its sun goes down there you can see uh, how it looks a bit nicer the way the sort of sky sort of glows kind of pinky a bit and there's also webs which have added to the game and you can go through them but you move extremely slowly as you walk through them also uh, you can like drop down and you drop down slowly uh, once again very good for um uh, adventure maps and stuff that's the kind of thing uh, you'll find in like abandoned mine shafts and stuff uh, also sponge has been added to the game and that's what sponge looks like if you want to make a big spongebob squarepants model and i'm actually now uh, going to continue the tour in the morning as i'm going to quickly leg it to bed uh, seeing as i had so many googlies uh when i started off the world a second ago um, i don't really want to face that again and oh no my house has been destroyed isn't it i oh, know i think I, I think i can sort this out it will never look the same it will look a mess but um yeah, at least I'll be able to sleep without hopefully getting attacked. Uh, just so I don't get scared during the night, I'm going to put on my favourite CD again. And I will go through some of the other music discs a little bit later on, but uh, this is my favourite one so far. It's called Chirp. I like to listen to it when I go to sleep in this world. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully there won't be uh, too many googlies here to wake me up this morning. Okay, there's a few creepers over there, but uh, as long as I keep an eye out on them, I should be okay. And here you can get a glimpse of a skeleton there with the um, the larger bow. It's got a proper full-size bow there. And hopefully it's going to burn to death without killing me. And um, yeah, it just drops an arrow like it normally does. It'd be good if I actually found a skeleton and saw it dropping uh, rotten flesh. But I suppose it's not uh, particularly exciting anyway. Um, here I'm just showing off uh, some of the items which are now buildable. Like these are all items that were in the game anyway, uh, but you couldn't really place them. Like all of these ores, obviously once you destroy them, you just get what would be in them and you can't actually place the block. 
Uh, but now with creative mode, you can actually place and destroy bedrock uh, as sort of like another aesthetic block that you can place down. Uh, also, obviously, diamond ore, uh, coal ore, lapis ore, and redstone ore. You can now place ice wherever you want. It doesn't have to be in a snow biome. Or you can also place snow wherever you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be in a snow biome. And also, all of these sort of tall grass type things, uh, obviously, a lot of them now spawn more, as you can see, all of this tall grass uh, around here. Uh, but you can also place them wherever you want without having to worry about bone meal. And also, if you get shears, uh, you can actually um, if I just get rid of that, um, I can actually destroy them and pick them up. So if I'm uh, on survival mode, not creative mode, um, I'm just going to uh, get rid of some crap. My inventory seems to be falling up really quickly, so I'm going to get rid of some rubbish here. But you can see I can drop these, I can pick them back up, and then I could place them down uh, wherever you want. It just makes it a little bit easier if you're trying to... I don't know, add some little leaves or something, I don't know, a tiny little Christmas tree down there. Um, something else that which is new is the uh, music discs. You heard one of them. Uh, there's 10 new ones in total, bringing it up to uh, 12. And um, there's a few weird ones. Like this is a bit of a uh, peculiar one, this black one. They've all got names. Uh, this one's called Eleven. And I'm not going to go through all of them here. Um, I'm just going to start that playing for a bit and have that in the background. It's uh, definitely a bit of a peculiar one, that one, but I'll just leave that playing. Um, also, there's a new type of armor called Chainar Chain Armor, and so I'm just going to grab all of this, going to get rid of a rose, which I don't need, and you can also now quick move armor, so say if you want to equip it, you don't have to go and drag it all up like that really slowly, if you just press Y on it, uh, you can quickly move it into place, and I'm going to take this off, because that was a really horrible disc, I'm going to put a nicer one on, uh, I've already done chirp, I'll do... Uh, I don't know what I'm picking, I don't know any of them, I'll put far on, let's see what, see what that sounds like. Oh, I'll just put the same one on again. Uh, sorry, one sec. And I know it doesn't really matter, but that other one was a bit creepy. There we go, some nicer background music. Uh, so as I said, you can now quick move to put armor on, and uh, it looks a bit weird, this kind of armor, especially when I'm dressed up as a cat, but oh well, uh, still kind of cool. Um, there's now also ender pearls added to the game, and as far as I know, they're pretty useless. In the PC version, they can be used to uh, teleport yourself. You could, like, throw them, and then you'll teleport to wherever they land, you can't actually do that yet in the Xbox version, uh, so I don't know if they do have any use. Um, I'm going to have to find that out, maybe leave it as an annotation uh, popping up on the screen now if I do find uh, any use for it. Uh, but for now, I think it's just like another aesthetic item. Um, there's also now some new uh, changes to the way the weapons work. You see if I pick up this bow and arrow and a bunch of um, arrows, and I'm also going to grab this sword. Uh, you'll see that with a sword, I can swing it like normal, but I can also block. So say if someone tries to attack me, I can block, and I move slower while I'm blocking, uh, but I believe I take uh, half the amount of damage, or certainly a lot less damage. Uh, there's also now an animation for when you're using the bow and arrow. You see I can do it, I can hold it back and fire it like that, uh, so I can fire it further, or I could just sort of tap it, and it wouldn't go very far. And So say if I want to do it to there, I can just do that because I don't need it to fall very far just to get to that one there. If I can actually hit that, pull it back a little bit further to get to that one there. And if I want to hit that massive creeper in the background, pull it all the way back. And there, see if I can hit him in the eye. Oh, nearly, nearly. That's the one. <laughs> so that's just something uh, a little bit cool. It just looks a little bit more realistic and there's a bit more uh, strategy to sort of firing your arrow. Uh, something else which is new and one of the biggest things for me, which I'm happy about, is the fact that animals don't despawn. Uh, so you can sort of set up an area like this, get some wheat to attract some animals, uh, you can trap them in this fenced area and they won't despawn. So you can keep coming back and they will still always be there. And if I throw down a few eggs here and uh, hopefully get some chickens or ducks, whatever they are, spawning in here, uh, these shouldn't despawn. So they'll just sort of stay in that pen and I can sort of... Uh, use that as a farm. You can't actually breed animals yet. Uh, that will be added hopefully in a future update. Uh, but this is still better than nothing. You could have some sheep in there and keep using it to sort of dye them and get wool and stuff, which would be uh, very useful. A small addition is that you can now place pressure pads on top of fence uh, posts, uh, which might seem like a small thing, but it's very good if you want to make sort of table looking things like this. Uh, there's also more quick move options. So say if you want to put something into a dispenser or a furnace, uh, you can now quick move it. So I'm just going to, oh God, I've got so much stuff. Right, let me just, let me just dump a load of stuff. I've actually got a lava pit over here. I'm just going to throw all of my rubbish that I don't need in here. Just get it all out the way. <laughs> So I started this with pretty much like an empty infantry. Look how full up it's got already. Yeah, so if I just grab some of this stuff, you can see that if I want to quick move something into a furnace, I could just move all of that coal in there and then move all of the gold all up there instead of having to like actually grab it and move it up myself like you used to. Also dispensers, I can now quick move something into a dispenser like that. And then, uh, of course, uh, if I put a pressure pad down, oh God. 
put it down in the in the right place, put it down next to it. There, I can get my snowballs firing out of it like that and <laughs> firing over at the pumpkins over there. Um, also, the chest, you've probably seen already from the past chest, but they now have an animation. Uh, when I go to open them, they actually properly open. You can't see very well because kind of the screen sort of covers half of it up, but they do there. You can kind of see there they open up. That's what it looks like on a double chest. Uh, also, it's changed now so you get death messages. Uh, if you die, um, it will come up as kind of like a kill feed kind of thing saying who died and sort of give a bit of a description of how they died and I'm just going to prove that to you by taking my own life of the sacrifice I go through for these videos. So I've made a little diving board here and it goes into a lava pit down there. Uh, so if I kill myself um, it might take uh, a little while because I'm on easy mode also I've got uh, quite a lot of health and armor. But you see I died and you'll see there Stampy Long Nose went up in flames and it says that my bed is missing and I didn't think my bed was missing I thought it was okay but oh well it's still saying that there and that's pretty much all of the um the stuff that I wanted to talk about in terms of uh, new additions, in terms of mobs and items and equipment and stuff. Uh, but I'm now going to switch over in the same world, uh, but going into creative mode uh, to talk through some of the changes that there's been in creative mode and just sort of uh, how it all works. So I'm just going to cut ahead to that now. Okay, I've now loaded the world back up inside creative mode and you'll see that at first everything looks like it's pretty much the same as it was. Uh, but if you double tap the A button, uh, you'll kind of fly and hover a bit and you can then just sort of fly around and look at what you want. Uh, so as I said, you double tap A to get into fly mode. Uh, normally you fly around at this speed, but if you go into sprint mode by double tapping forward, uh, you then go into sort of flying super fast mode. If you hold down A, you rise up higher. Uh, if you hold down the right analog stick, you go down lower. Uh, you can also use the D-pad to sort of move up, down, left and right, uh, kind of in a more gentle movement. Uh, but as you can see, you can move around bloody fast. And uh, the only problem with it is you can kind of move uh, a little bit too fast to the point where uh, you can, as you can see, the world doesn't really uh, load in fast enough for you. And if you sort of fly at this speed uh, for a large amount of time, you can get to a point where you can pretty much see absolutely nothing underneath you. And this is a bit of a glimpse of the world that I loaded up. This was just a random seed. And you can see how uh, common the villages are. You can see there's a village there. Uh, there's a village over there and I also believe uh, there's a village just over here somewhere and it's kind of like half submerged by water. You can see here yeah, there's a, a village there which has spawned in the middle of a desert and water so a bit of a, a weird location. I'm also going to quickly show you a ravine which was spawned uh, naturally. I also saw a kind of a, a pit down here. This looks kind of kind of interesting. This sort of natural looking like I don't know, outside theatre type thing. That was a kind of cool. I haven't actually found any abandoned mines or strongholds or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but there are natural rivers in this world. And uh, here you can see a kind of ravine type thing. It's just a, a bit of a weird... A uh, place that wouldn't have otherwise naturally spawned and oh no look at that poor pig I oh, no, look at that pig just stuck there it must have just literally spawned there and now it's got like no way of getting away <laughs> How did you get there buddy? Oh man, I'm kind of tempted to kill him. Actually, no, I'm gonna free him. I'm gonna be nice to this pig I'm gonna I'm gonna give him an escape route. Come on piggy come this way. You're safe. Come on I made a little safe area for you Okay, tell you what well, oh, there we go. Is he gonna get away? There we go. I've saved the pig. Aren't I a hero? Okay, anyway, now I'm going to go through some of the uh, stuff that you can do in creative mode in terms of building. If you press up the X button, uh, you bring up the uh, creative mode menu where you can see every different placeable block and item that you can use. Uh, there's building blocks, decorations, redstone and transportation, materials, food, tools, weapon and armor, and just miscellaneous stuff. And um, the way you put something into your bar is you just uh, select over it, Pick what you want to use, say if I want to build something out of cobblestone, I press A and it will be there um, in my infantry and then I can just go down, my inventory sorry, and then I can just go down and place it like I'd place like any other block. Double tap A to get out of flying mode and you can see that I can keep placing them and um, I'll just have an endless supply of them. I can just keep placing as many as I want and if you look down in my quick select menu, um, there's none like actually disappearing, it just always stays there. Also to destroy blocks, just press right trigger and you'll destroy them instantly, doesn't know, like matter what it is, it could be wall, it could be, um, I don't know, bedrock and I can place it and just destroy it as easily as I want. If you want to make a stack of an item, say if you want to put something in an item for like a survival game map, um, if you press Y on it instead, so say if I wanted uh, to put 64 apples in a chest, if I press Y to uh, take all, 
uh, I actually make a stack of 64, then I can just put that whole stack into a chest. Uh, so when I load this up on survival, I'll have an actual stack there uh, rather than just the one apple. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, it's got everything here that you're you're really going to need for building. I don't believe they've missed uh, anything out. I don't really see how they would. And it's just good even if you've got a map that you don't want to use as creative mode, uh, but you want to add some of the new additions like melons or something like that. Uh, it's an easy way to add it to your world. I think in my lovely world, I'm going to add some of this new stuff. And it's very easy just to select stuff and put whatever you want into the game. And um, something that I do want to warn you about very quickly though, is that... Uh, if you have your world and you put it on creative mode briefly and save it, then go back to survival mode, you won't have anything updated on the leaderboards and you also won't unlock any achievements. So any world that has been on creative mode briefly or is left on creative mode, uh, you won't be able to uh, like get any uh, stats on the leaderboards and you also won't. Uh, be able to get any new achievements for that world. So just just bear that in mind, you know, it's kind of a commitment uh, to not getting achievements and stuff if you do set it up. And I'm just going to quickly show you how easy it is to build uh, in creative mode by just putting a little uh, hat on top of this creeper here, a nice little kind of top hat kind of thing. Um, yeah, just to show literally how easy it is to build. Like, I mean, you can understand now, like, how all of this amazing stuff is built on PC when they sort of uh, have this as an option, you know. I'm a rubbish builder and you can see, like, how quickly I can do this. You imagine like someone who's actually good at building like the amazing stuff that they could build really quickly. So you can see there, I've just added a kind of stupid looking hat there on top of my creeper. <laughs> it's going out for like a, a formal occasion and it's just so easy to build everything now and I'm just really looking forward to uh, all of the new stuff that is going to be added. And the other thing that I just want to quickly mention about this update is that they've made some changes to the tutorial world. I'm not going to show you them here in this video because uh, to be honest, there's no real point. You might as well explore them for yourself. It's more uh, for beginners of the game anyway. Way, uh, but they've made it so that there's the new features in the world uh, on the tutorial world you know like things like rivers and uh, new things to like the terrain uh, they've also added a little tutorial for sprinting and eating uh, they've also added some kind of quests which is the most interesting things kind of like easter eggs uh, so that there's uh, music discs uh, in the tutorial world there's like 12 chests and there's kind of like mini quests that you've got to go and try and find them and the final thing that they did uh, in the update the uh, 1.82 update is that they actually removed hero brian which i thought they were going to do in the last update update but apparently they've only just removed Hero Brian now so uh, we should all be able to uh, sleep slightly safer at night now knowing that Hero Brian won't wake us up and if I just quickly show you the map of this world um, I'm not going to show you them directly but you can see this kind of rivers actually I might as well show you uh, as soon as I can fly to places so quickly and you can also kind of see uh, some of the different biomes you can see like here all of these dense trees it's a bit more of like a jungle biome and you actually find uh, vines naturally spawning and spreading uh, on trees around here I can't actually see any but um, you do actually get that now, and I've gone off in the complete wrong direction, but if I go down here somewhere, so I'm still getting used to flying, it is kind of easy, but I'm making it uh, look more difficult. You can see here there's a naturally spawned river down here. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of any mine shafts or anything, uh, but I'm sure that if you go mining and investigating, uh, you'll come across some of that stuff. So that's everything uh, that I thought to be noteworthy or that I thought you should hear about uh, in terms of this update. There are one or two very minor things that I may have missed out. I tried to cover everything, but I will have a link in the description uh, to like a list of everything that was changed, all of the like minor bug fixes and alterations to the game. Uh, so if you want a more in-depth look at all of the stuff that's changed in this update, uh, just look in the description of this video. Uh, but apart from that, that's all I've got to say and show you. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.